Stuart Bloor, I'm with Des Taylor at SBS, M2 Boilies. Des, I've been using these on the canal and I've been going to places where anglers aren't going, never mind carp anglers, yeah. and I've caught instantly. They've been instant baits yeah. for me after yeah. carp. Well, sure, that doesn't surprise me because, to be perfectly honest, it was always said that if you baited enough with a boilie or any bait, the carp would take it. Well, that's okay if you're a boilie maker or a, 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 a bait company owner mm. or you get free bait. But if you go into a shop and pay 10 or 11 quid for bait, then I think it's a bit unfair to expect that somebody's got to put 20 or 30 kilos in and bait up for weeks on end. So what we've done is that the field testers and myself have always reckoned that if it's a good bait, then why can't they pick it up straight away? Mm. And we work on baits. If we, the first acid test that we do on any bait is we go to a very, very simple, very easy venue, mm. you know, the likes of Woodlands View or somewhere like that with lots of fishing, cast them out. And if you don't get a take on them at a water like that, why would you expect to take on a water that, you know, with 40 pounders? You know, to my mind, a good boiler should produce straight away on an easy water, so you know you're full of confidence. If you can't catch on an easy water, Stuart, you're not going to take it to an hard venue, are you? Right. You know, so we've designed baits that when you chuck them out, to my mind, as soon as the bait is the water, I'm always wondering why I haven't had a take. Mm. A lot of car bangers would think, well, I'll always give it two or three days. To my mind, as soon as it hits the bottom, and the carp has realised the bomb's at the bottom and he comes and has a look, then he should be thinking about taking the bait. Yeah. So it's nothing unusual on our baits to catch straight from the start. Mm. And, and you've proved that point. Yeah, and that's with all our baits. If our baits don't catch straight from the start, then they're not put in a bag and they're not produced. Mm. The talking's over, and this is where the rubber hits the road, so to speak. I haven't got Des with me, but I've got his baits, the M2 boilies we were talking about at the shop in Kidderminster, that's the next best thing. The rods are out now, we're well into dusk, and I'm hoping to do some business tonight with a carp. It's time to go home, I've had nothing at all. That's fishing for you, and that's definitely this type of fishing, but it's what I love, it's the challenge that I rise to, and when I do catch, which I will, I'll make that prediction now, I will catch during the course of this video, I will catch a carp, from this canal. When I do, the sense of achievement is amazing. But just before I do finally pack away and head for the car, I've noticed some common ragwort growing along the canal and I've just seen a cinnabar moth caterpillar. So let's take a look at that. Just the one caterpillar on this plant. Common ragwort is quite poisonous they have to clear it away from horse fields. But this particular moth, the cinnabar moth, the ragwort is the only plant that the caterpillar feeds on. And the caterpillar looks like a wolf's fan, doesn't it there? Golden black. The caterpillar actually absorbs the poisons and then that becomes a natural defense against the birds. So it won't get eaten by any birds. Amazing, isn't it? A glutton for punishment. I love the challenge that this sort of fishing brings. I've arrived on the canal into dusk now as my first visit when I arrived. Let the boat settle down for the night. Got the rods out. I'm not staying all through the night tonight just till about midnight, possibly 1am. Just see how it goes. But as ever I'm confident. I say that a lot and I know I set myself up but if you're not confident then it's not worth going out fishing is it really if you've already conceded defeat before you've left the house my advice is stay indoors and watch television I'm into a fish obviously you can't see it because it's dark I'm about to net it however I think it's just a chub. It's a nice one for the canal, but just a chub. Took me on a screaming run though. It's took me a long, long time. And I'm right at the end of session three. It's the morning now. I've had one small chub during the night. And I'm about to get a carp. I'm sure you can hear it there crashing. 
Come on. It's not a big one. But as you've probably gathered, no difficulties to get hold of them on this section. It's very welcome indeed. Come on. In the net. Brilliant. I've got the fish in the net just at the side of me there. It's ready to go. It's raring to go actually back into the canal after resting. At the risk of repeating myself, not just this time but on previous visits to this particular uh, section of canal, it's not fished at all. You don't see any anglers. The odd one that you see as you walk along to this particular section of mainly fishing for other species anyway and the carp that I just caught is in absolutely pristine condition marvellous looking fish not a big one I can catch bigger fish elsewhere that is without question but for me it's such a challenge fishing a venue like this and when you do catch again at the risk of repeating myself such an achievement i'm absolutely over the moon it's first thing in the morning 4 a.m and the birds are, are singing now it's a lovely morning and i'm really really happy let's get it back the best thing for a fish isn't it? Catch it, photograph it and release it. You may be watching this video thinking how can this guy get excited? One fish in three sessions. I catch one carp every three minutes down my local commercial water. But of course, it's not just what we catch, but it's the circumstances surrounding each particular fish. And for me, I like the challenge that this type of angling brings. So it's not about bagging up or filling your net or whatever other terminology we use it's about coming to a place knowing that the carp you're targeting are few and far between you have to really think each session through put the time in maybe suffer disappointments along the way even perhaps for some people discouragements for me personally I don't get discouraged I stick it out and I know that in the end it will come good like it has done today not everyone's cup of tea, but it's definitely mine. Cheers.